Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And boy, Elon Musk just tore the roof off of Vice President Kamala Harris and hit her right between the eyes, folks. We're going to get right to that story. But before we get started, as always, please remember to like, comment, share. And if you're on Rumble or YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Right now, big tech and the mainstream media are really trying to put the kibosh on us as our show begins to grow and get more popular. They're really trying to clamp down. We need you now more than ever to help us out so we can keep bringing you this news for free every single day. Folks, when there's a time of crisis in this country, in the United States, we band together. I remember 9-11. I was just about uh, 21, 22 years old. And this country, there was no Democrats or Republican. There was no race creed, sexual orientation. There was none of that. There was just Americans, Americans banding together, Americans banding together to lift one another up, help one another up. But, you know, things have changed. If you remember back to Hurricane Katrina or Hurricane Sandy, you saw how it's mostly Democrats who will politicize these horrible events, whether it be to promote climate change agendas or to attack Republicans. We've seen it time and time again. And they really wasted no time with Hurricane Ian, and it's sad. This is a time, again, where Americans need to come together and help the people affected by this devastating hurricane. But you had Joy Behar on The View just tearing a strip off of Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis before the hurricane even hit. And I can assure you, folks, there are most likely tweets pre-written about how DeSantis is mishandling this crisis before anything's ever happened. Those tweets are most likely pre-written, if not literally, then mentally in the minds of some people. But I digress. Vice President Kamala Harris may have been the absolute worst when she insinuated, well, she flat out said, that communities of color should be prioritized in doling out the financial aid as it pertains to Hurricane Ian. So... In other words, if you are white or if you're a person of color and you both have similar damage to your property, the person of color is going to get their money first because equity. Somehow that's equity. And the comment disgusted a lot of people, quite a lot of people. So if you don't believe that I'm telling the truth about what she said, or maybe you have a different take on what she said, let's take a look at the clip. It is our... um lowest income communities and our communities of color that are most impacted by these extreme conditions and and impacted by by issues that are not of their own making and, and so women. we absolutely and so we have to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity, understanding that we we fight for equality but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. And if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities um, and and do that work. Now, I'm sure in the coming days, the White House and her office are going to put some kind of spin on this because it looks really bad. There were a lot of complaints. And Elon Musk said, quite simply, according to greatest need, not race or anything else, according to greatest need, not race or anything else. I think he speaks for a lot of us. And I know he does. Because Harris got absolutely obliterated for this on Twitter and social media and on some of the shows on Fox News and elsewhere because it's disgusting. Well, you heard what she said. You make up your own mind what she meant by that. But I know what I heard and what I believe. That's up to each individual to decide. But it seems like her words are her words and, and they didn't seem very, you know, confusing. They, they seem very straightforward. So shame on you, Vice President Kamala Harris. Shame on you. At a time we should all come together, you're talking about dividing us. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you did, please like, comment, and share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you're on YouTube or Rumble, please make sure you subscribe. It really helps us out. We love each and every one of you. God bless you. Take care, everybody.